So previously, I talked about um, how to pivot and how to loop and how you can add power on the loop, okay? Now, something that people are uh, having a hard time is actually applying that in the game. And there is reason not only of uh, starting in the right position to begin with, there are some other reasons why it's hard to do it. Uh, it's because you have to understand what kind of shot that you made previously will give you the best chance to loop. Right? Let's say I want to loop from here. Then I want that to push, right? I don't want them to loop because I won't be able to counter loop their loop from here. That's really hard. That's very advanced technique. So if I want them to push here, then I have to give them a push on their spin long. Long. So it's a setup. So every time you push long to their backhand, you should already anticipate very high chance they're gonna push long, either this side or this side. Most likely, they will push here, like 90%. Because why? This is too easy. When you push over here, this person doesn't even need to move. One foot, loop. Okay? But when they push here, now this person has to work hard, fast, and then loop. And it's good because this person is moving out and that side is empty. And that's why they are pushing long and I am pushing long. But you'll see that if you can turn and make the first loop here, you have very high chance to win. Yeah, of course, if you turn and then if you miss a loop, then you have very low chance to uh, win the point. So if you cannot do it, it's best for you to push it back deep. So let them loop, you block and control the rally. If you can loop, push long and be ready to move. Okay, so the push is really important and uh, I'm going to give you like an equation how to give push, okay? So first is divide the table into four quarters, okay? One, two, three, four, okay? Any ball that touches fourth quarter is long ball. You should be able to loop, you should train to loop you shouldn't try to push these balls, okay? Now the third quarter still comes out. It's very hard to keep the ball do the two bounce when the ball is here. Not easy. So you can still think this one, either you're gonna loop, or when you push this ball, I want you to wait. Wait and hit it at the top, and then as I explained the last time, give aggressive chop. Don't try to take this one early and then try to drop it short because one, it's hard. Because the ball is coming this far, the ball has this much energy and for me to drop it low, which is the first quarter, then the top of the bounce, the middle of the arc has to be here. Then the ball starts to drop. Then it has very high chance to hit the net. Therefore, it's not good to drop it short, right? It should be over, then start to draw, then it's safe to play this shot. Therefore, when the ball hits over here, then most likely my push is gonna end up here. Therefore, they have good chance to loop. So to prevent that, instead of taking it early and then push it long, leave it weak and then chop it. Make sure you have good chop. Don't need to rush on this shot. If the ball is high, you can attack. But this shot, I want you to a little bit wait and then be, do an aggressive push instead of taking it early and then weak push. Okay? Now, the second zone is very similar to this. Now we don't have ocean to loop. Okay, we don't have ocean to loop. Now when you come to this zone, you can do either two. You can push this or drop it short. Okay? But because this ball is uh, inside of the half line, you're actually able to drop it short and make it two bounce. Therefore, it's good for you to take it a little bit earlier. 
earlier, earlier. Mm. If the ball is high, you may wait and then do the uh, hard, hard chop. But because it's closer to the net, it's actually better to drop it short than to put it long. Uh -huh. uh, of course, it, de it will depend on what's coming to you. But if you're seeing the ball shorter than the half line, I recommend to give shorter drop and which you have to take it early. Okay, so now this is the idea. Um, usually people come in and then try to reach to push, but these balls, you actually don't need much energy because you just need to take the timing. So you actually can use more of a body momentum to catch than arm momentum. For this ball, not much of body momentum because the ball is coming long. Actually, it's a lot of your hand and wrist and quick reflex on the chop. So that's how you control. But depending on these two shots, you have to uh, right away prepare. What? If I do the chop like this, next ball you have to lose. It's a mud shot, okay? It's a setup for you to loop when you do the long, deep, hard push. If you drop it short, that's a setup for flick or another push short. Okay, so you have to literally make an equation when you drop it short. Don't expect the ball to come out long at, uh, the, on the second shot, right? So. Uh, next class, I'm going to introduce flicks, how to do the flicks. But before that, I really want you to have good control on the push because push is what uh, sets up the flick or loop. And usually people try to loop on the, uh, I mean, flick on the serve or things like that. But flick itself is also set up. When you drop it short, they have high chance to drop it short. And that's how you set, set yourself up for the flick. Not right away flick. Why? Because I try to flick and then they put it long serve, I'm done. I don't know where they're going to put it. But when you drop it short, you have more information. When you drop it long, you have more information about the return. So the push is really, really important. Like I would say, I can reach 2,000 with just push and block. No loop. Why? Because that's how, how important these skills are. Oh. But over 2,000 is hard. Why? Because their attack becomes more solid. They're able to actually loop and control the uh, table. They're quick. So I cannot, because no matter how hard I push, if the other person is keeping it short, I cannot do the hard chop. Therefore, the ball is not fast, aggressive, and they can loop the next shot. Uh. So we'll start to work on the push. For now, we're going to just push long on the backhand side only. And then once you get comfortable, try to do the drop shot short. But drop shot, don't do with the uh, backhand. I want you to keep the left foot outside and then use more of a forehand to control. Okay, let's start with the long push. Long push. Deeper, the better. More on the spin, the better. Okay, let's try. Right. 